My name is Kellen. I'm 19. I like reading. I like going to like art museums in the city and painting or drawing. I had moved out of my parents' house because I was seeing a doctor who confided in him and then he told my parents on their permission and things were just really tense and there was a lot of yelling. It was just, it felt like the right time to, to leave. It was hard being out of my parents' house because I've lived with them my entire life and that was the first time that, was, that I was like on my own. It was also like difficult hopping around and sleeping on people's couches, not having a stable place to be in. So I came here through the suggestion of a friend. The Ali Fernay Center is the largest organization in the United States and in the world dedicated to homeless LGBT youth. We primarily focus on providing housing to, to young people who have been kicked out of their homes because of, of homophobia and transphobia, uh, but we have a really broad array of services to really help young people be healed. I mean, to help them be safe, to help them get off the streets, but also to help heal them from the harms of, of homelessness and rejection. The genesis of the Ali Fernay Center is the, the death of Ali Fernay, which happened 20 years ago. Ali was a, a gender non-conforming homeless youth who at the age of 22 was murdered back in 1997. At that time there was no kind of safe shelter in New York City for homeless LGBT youth. I don't think at that time there was any kind of safe shelter for LGBT youth in the entire country. We're living in a time where more and more people feel free and able to express themselves as being LGBT. Unfortunately, as much as the acceptance is growing, there are still many people in every society who tend to be very hostile to LGBT people. When your parents are, are like that, it is very unsafe to come out of the closet. When you're a teenager, when you're still reliant on your parents for economic support, so what we see happening all over the United States and all over the world is that more and more young people are coming out of the closet and unfortunately, huge numbers of them are being rejected by their families and forced into homelessness. The Ali Forney Center has helped me a lot with housing and employment. And I'm definitely a lot happier now than I was a year ago. I'm in a much better place. Hopefully in the future, I'll have either be in college or graduated already. My number one career goal is to be a curator at a museum in the city, so you have to go to college for that. My relationship with my family now, it gets like worse and better. My mom right now is pretty good, like we text every day. I'm not talking to my dad currently because things are kind of difficult with him. I don't feel like comfortable going back to their home at this point. I want them to know that I'm okay, like as okay as I can be, and that I'm doing, I'm doing well and this is not like a phase and I'm happiest in this form than I was before. <laughs>